the SDI tally link is usually um, deployed when you want to inject tally signals on the SDI return feed to your cameras and if you don't have an uh, ATEM production switcher, for instance. If you look at this picture on the screen, you uh, see the classic scenario. You have GPI inputs, you have a SDI return feed to the cameras, the program out, going into SDI TPI link, and then on the output, it goes to the cameras through some kind of distribution amplifier. Now, what if you want to do the opposite? Let's say you want to put the SDI TPI link out close to the cameras and you want them uh, or you want the box to extract the tally information and convert it into relay closures. That's also possible and it's basically quite simple. So we can open the firmware app and go to the configuration. I can demonstrate how this works. So I'll just do that. And pressing the open configuration button will bring up this interface. So um, I have here on the table next to me uh, SDI GPI link box uh, with the GPIO option. And I have now taken this utility board and put in the GPIO um, connector on the top, which has eight relays. And these LEDs will light up when the relays are closed. Okay, so what I want to do on output number one, which is the first LED, is to basically say, I want it to reflect camera control tally for camera one. And for the next, I want it to reflect tally for camera two. Oh, I have uh, this option too. I want it to um, be red tally. But actually, I could also um, make it green tally, so it could reflect anything. Actually, I'm changing my mind a little bit, because the beauty of this little board is the first LED is green and the next one is red. So to keep that symbolism, let's just make it camera one green, camera one red, and now camera two green and camera to red. Okay, so we save this. And now we go back to the firmware updating application. And um, in the firmware updating application, we just uh, press check for updates. So we'll wait just shortly and see that it's now generating a new firmware on the server. So while it's generating the firmware, I'll explain the infrastructure we have right here. I have an ATEM switcher and the software control is uh, right here. And um, so I'm connected to an ATEM switcher and the green cable going into the SDI GPI link. No, actually it's coming out of the, wait. Yeah, so this is from program out of the ATEM switcher going into the SDI input of the SDI GPI link. So. Um, and we should now be able to see it right here. So uh, now the uh, firmware updater app has successfully updated the firmware and uh, we can now see on the box the um, red tally is apparently lighting up for um, input number one and uh, it corresponds to input number one being uh, on program and input number two being on preview. Let's put input two on uh, uh, three on preview and you can see nothing is now lit. Uh, if I cut, you'll see how the tally signals coming over SDI is converted to relay uh, output um, outputs here. And um, if I do the same for two, camera two, it's the same thing. So that basically proves the point that we can use the SDI GPI link in a reverse mode to read out SDI born tele signals and convert it to contact closures.